So today, um, uh, a lot of people have been asking in the comments about what the muffins are that I eat, eat more, each morning for breakfast. And um, I'm gonna show you a version of the muffins, but since it is the holidays, instead of doing it, typically I'll do uh, uh, some walnuts as an add-in, and I'll also do some blueberries as an add-in. But um, we tried some muffins the other day. Uh, we used artificial sweetener in these muffins, uh, it uses honey. I always, when I make this recipe, I always double it because um, if I am baking, I am baking. I'm not just doing things half measure. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump out all my dry ingredients. We use paleo baking flour as the flour in this. Um, after I make these muffins, I'll let them cool down. I'll bag them up in just a sandwich bag and put it in my freezer. And then the night before, um, I'll just put it out to thaw. And then in the morning when I wake up, um, my muffin's ready and I can just take it to work. And then when I'm ready to eat, I'm set. So we swapped out for a bigger bowl to make it easier to stir. So next I'm gonna put in a teaspoon or two because we're doubling it of baking powder, soda. soda. Good thing I have such a good assistant to keep on my tail. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the salt. And that's all of our dry ingredients. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move this bowl aside and start on our wet ingredients. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put the coconut oil in now. It's a cup and a half um, since we're doubling. Um, so I put in the coconut oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the honey. It's a ton of honey. Um, uh, since we're doubling, it's going to equal a cup and a half. So these are like dessert muffins is what you're saying? <laughs> And the nice thing about doing the honey after doing the coconut oil is it pretty much all slides out. Can you see that in there, how clean that is? It's like a little bit of heaven for you bakers out there, knowing how stuff usually gets stuck in. And if you're like me, uh, you won't be able to eat these muffins because I can't eat very much honey and, or maple syrup. So these muffins are hard on my gut. Now what I'm gonna do uh, that I've got, since I've got all my wet ingredients in here, except for the water, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Go ahead and add my water. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix all of these ingredients together now before I add the dry. Um, as this is mixing, I'm just gonna kind of whisk together my dry ingredients. I'm just gonna scoop in big um, amounts of this. All right. Now that that's, now that that's all mixed, um, as my add-ins, I'm gonna do cranberries that actually, I just took a bag and put them in the oven and dried them so they're really, even though they're, they look completely inflated, they're just dry. And um, so I'm, this, actually I measured it out. It's about a cup and a half of the cranberries. I'm gonna put in, use a full orange and put in the zest from the orange. And then also I'm going to put in a half a cup of chopped, coarsely chopped walnuts. Okay, so um, as you can see, I pretty much have got that whole entire orange. I may, if I go over it, I may find just a few more little bits, but for the most part, I've just zested this whole orange. So these nuts, you know, I'm gonna really fill this pretty full um, since I am doubling this recipe. Um, these nuts we just get at Costco. They're just the baking nuts. After we open them, we just keep them in the fridge. 
Uh, they're awesome. I love them in my muffins, and they're also uh, part of the nut mix that Dr. Gundry talks about, one of the three components, so they're always nice to have on hand. It just adds, it just kind of adds a different texture to the muffins, and I really, really like that. This is kind of a nice cutting board too, because um, I love the fact that after you're done, you can just kind of roll it up and just drop everything right in exactly where you want it to be. And just stick them in there. I definitely put it, have put in more add-ins than what they recommend with these muffins, um, but oh well. That looks mixed in pretty well. So the easiest way I've found to do this is I'm just gonna use my half a cup scoop um, that we used for the nuts and just kind of fill it up like that. And then that way um, I'm not holding a heavy bowl over trying to unload. Um, it's so convenient to do these and just have them in the morning, especially when you're rushing around. Um, you don't, for me, I want to make sure I have something for breakfast so I'm not like a big growly bear. These aren't going to puff up like a ton, but um, I'm way excited to try these. These look so good. And you normally, what do you normally put in them? Normally I put in um, the walnuts and blueberries. So I'll make um, another thing. Well, and the nice thing is, is I plan it out so I only have to make these like once a month. Um, so that makes it awesome. Because then I'm not rushing around each once week. Once a month? Mm -hmm. Or once a week? Once a month. Because it makes about 24. And I just have it for breakfast. And even though there's a lot of sugar in these because of all the honey, if you, they're not very big. And if you're only having one a day, it's not that much honey. Yeah. It just seems like a lot when you're making them. Okay, so we're done now. Um, and as you can see, we ended up with 30 muffins. 30 muffins for one month. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and bake them in the oven and we'll see how they look after we're done. Sneak under you, honey. So the muffins are done. We've let them cool for a while. So I'm actually just going to start bagging them up. Um, Dave and I will taste one in a minute, but this is basically what I do. I just get sandwich bags. Uh, bag them up, squeeze the air out, and then I just have a shelf in my freezer that I put them in. Of course, I'll leave one out for tonight, so I have one for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, super easy. We ended up with 30 muffins, so that will give me a month worth that I don't have to bake for. And then we're going to go try one. Yep. To see how they taste compared to the other muffins. We Should need. we split that one in half and try that? Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to try our muffins. As you will see behind us, we've got a whole bunch of food. I've started working today slowly on cleaning out the pantry. I'm gonna get everything compiled together and then just call my neighbors and just feed them crappy food. <laughs> You're getting rid of all that food, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what you think compared to the last time you made these. They smell these. really good. I do feel like the smell was stronger before when we made them. Like it's, I could smell more. Or maybe I'm just kind of stuffy today, but. some really good the only thing that maybe I would do different well I don't know you try it maybe I would add a little more orange zest the orange is very very I mean it's very good well you only put about half the orange zest in that you put in the other recipe. no I put a whole orange in the other one. Oh, but you doubled the recipe though but I doubled the recipe so maybe add a little I mean, you can still taste the orange and it's very good, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah. Definitely like it. Alright. Here we go. 
I think they taste the same as the other muffins that we made. No, you don't. <laughs> Orange cranberry. Meaning I don't necessarily like these better. I think either one. Oh my gosh. So the fact that these have all that honey in them. Night and day. If it was me, I would make the other ones. The other no ones way. do have the just like sugar aftertaste, but it doesn't really bother me. So. Cool. Anyway, so you have two options now. But this one's better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Don't be afraid to change it up and try something different. Hope you enjoy and hope it makes your breakfast and your morning rush just that much easier.